pelvic girdle is disarticulated. And if we were to put the oscoxa bones, how they would be connected, you can see the anterior of the surface of the sacrum and how it fits within the pelvic girdle. Removing the oscoxa, we're left with the um, anterior facing sacrum. And we can see the anterior foramen, the openings. Where the vertebrae are fused together, we have transverse lines which are perpendicular to the spinal, to the vertebral column. Moving to a superior view, we see a body of a vertebrae. And the lip or the ridge that is anterior of that body is the sacral promontory. On the superior aspect, we can see the two articular processes with a smooth faucet on either side. So those are superior articulating processes with the smooth spot being the superior articulating faucet. We can see the sacral canal, which is the opening for the spinal cord. And we can see the medial sacral crest, or also sometimes known as the mid sacral ridge. Turning it full way over for a posterior view, we can now see the openings, which are posterior sacral foramen. On the inferior aspect, where the sacral canal comes to an end, is the sacral hiatus. And we were able to see the smooth faucets a little bit better on the posterior side as well. Flipping back to the anterior view, we see these rough spots that are on the lateral aspect of the sacrum. These are the auricular surfaces which articulate with the oscoxa.